I'm very sorry that the sequencing uh, that we chose was not to your satisfaction. I was... Uh, uh, <coughs> to order, 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 order. That is totally not acceptable. No. Who do you think you're speaking to, Secretary of State? I don't want. I think we need to understand each other. I am the defender of this House and these benches on both sides. I am not going to be spoken to by a Secretary of State who is absolutely not accepting my ruling. Take it with good grace and accept it that members should hear it first, not a WMS or what you decide. These members have been elected by their constituents and they have the right to hear it first. And it is time this Government recognised we're all elected, we're all members of Parliament, and use the correct manners. Secretary of State. Mr. Speaker, Pure head teacher vibes, that. Pure being called before the head. Do you know what? I mean, we know that Lindsay Hoyle is in the right in the sense that that is the rule, that you come with your government business to Parliament first. And my sense is why he was so angry about that, apart from the back chat, is because there is an undercurrent, which we talked about in yesterday's episode, of ignoring Parliament. Don't forget, this was the Parliament that the Conservatives under Boris Johnson tried to prorogue for five weeks. This was the Parliament, the, the prorogation of which he lied to the Queen to effect. This was the place that was totally cut out of part of the Brexit negotiations because Boris Johnson thought it didn't come up with the right rules. And just yesterday... We heard Suella Braverman talking about the will of the people. So I wonder if there is, it wasn't just the back chat and it wasn't just yesterday. It is this growing sense that this government, or its ministers at least, have forgotten that we are a parliamentary democracy and not something that operates under a referendum. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 